Greetings and salutations, welcome back to our Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard. Playing as Granada. Where we last left our nation. We were... Just fresh from our invasion of Portugal. And we're trying to recover from the wars. Our subjects have a lot of war exhaustion. But other than that, I think we're in fairly good shape. Oh, we got a little bit of debt. But we do have some gold mines. Man. I think our allies are loyal and strong, so that should work to our benefit. Yeah, can't really do anything about that. We'll just send a new one. It's not worth the manpower to fight them. Get a new general here. Fifty ducats. That wow, two seventy-five already. Yeah, we're gonna stay at peace and let this war exhaust that unrest go down. More exhaustion. We've got to recover manpower anyway. Gotta let our subjects bring down their autonomy. Let's take a look at what just happened to France. Yeah, they're getting wrecked. And we're just waiting a few months before we engage them so that we get some more troops back into these regiments. We're only getting 227 men per month, which is so incredibly low. It's actually really pitiful for this time of the game and for being a great power. We might have to take quantity ideas, just... Just have manpower. Ottomans are invading Russia. I should keep an eye on when we can invade Portugal again. Seven years. Not that I'm looking forward to it. So we, again, don't want another soon war. But I want to know when that Bruce is wearing off. Okay, that was good. Stability up. Get some better cannons. We also need to work on getting our army back up to its force limit. 
There we are, some gold coming in finally. And we are going to try to pay off the debt of our subjects. Wow, 312. Let's not pay this for it for the moment. Let's see if Castile has any claims on us. If not, several. Let's see if they don't have any claims currently, then we counter espionage to remove their ability to declare on us. Thank you, Molly. I don't even know where we're going to develop. Thinking possibly over here. But it's actually present here. So it's going to be spreading. Yeah, we don't really need to develop. It's going 2.77, so why don't we just do institution spread? Try to present here. Okay. 2.03, we'll do institution spread over there. We'll do over here. And we're going to sit back and just try to recover and get ourselves in a position where we could attack them once that truce is up. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to do something about that. Seven hundred men. We're gonna have to start building some barracks. Hopefully, they'll convert this and we'll start. Developing the gold. Molly's attacking Morocco? Oh, you damn fools. Wait. Who's the attacker? Morocco's the attacker. Damn them. Who's our stronger ally? Marco's got 25k. Molly's got 19k. So Morocco will win. Especially with England's support. Got to decline it. And bump up our trust with our allies. Yeah. So, no calling our allies into offensive wars for a little bit. Sorry, Molly. Ooh. 
up the Savoy. It would be nice if we get a replacement ally. Okay, fortunately that didn't cost us too much manpower. Move those guys over. And I think we're only going to run one colonist at the moment. We gotta embrace our institution. Forty percent, thirty-six. Yeah, as these guys get more powerful, Virtual is going to have an increasingly difficult time keeping them loyal. Please don't accumulate more debt. Either, either, three seven and. I mean, part of it's the fact that we didn't demolish these forts. And they're colonizing. They must be running expensive advisors or something. Because they don't have, even have an army. And they're 375 in debt. Maybe they're building buildings or something. Taking out loans to finance it. Who knows? Okay, so really should only expect to see rebels here. But we'll convert it and they'll go away. Old shipment, which we can expect in a couple of years. A production efficiency guy. He'll mostly pay for himself. No, I guess not. Our production income's really low, surprisingly low. Bring down that inflation. Let's do that again. We stop getting those events. Okay, they're building up a new army up here. I know what's going on up there. Let's take a look. 30,000. They must have lost an army doing something. Or had a merc army that they disbanded. Something like that. Yeah, I'm going to stop that fort. If they start moving troops towards our border, we'll start paying for it again. I'm not even sure we want this fort. No, I'll just get rid of the fort. Not like it's in defensive terrain. Oh, 
Like, and it doesn't block any movement really anywhere. If they capture it, it's just war score for them. So, by destroying it, we'll eliminate a cost. Let's keep an eye on our subjects. Yeah, we'll probably have to drop trips off over there. Unless, do they have more exhaustion now? It's just religious unity. I'm not sure where they are. Oh, it's here. Nice, that was a lot of prestige. Okay, we'll get the Gold Coast. That way we could put it into a trade company after. Beat up on Kiche, but we don't have the manpower, and I don't want to feed anything else to our colonial subject in Mexico until they're in better shape. Bring that down. And now we can work on our ideas in tech. Yeah, okay, it's bad, Ontario. Now we could try to get some more cash by beating up on people like Huron. Not a whole lot of them left. That are neighboring us up there. 184 ducats. Oh, Fox and so on. Fox and friends. Uh, 67 ducats. So you get a couple hundred. Yeah, I think our manpower for the moment is more important to us. So we'll let them just establish themselves. Okay, Portugal in three years. Picked up any new allies. Let's get another claim. We do have a claim on them. Yeah, so we'll just wait and... If that rebellion in Mexico happens, then we'll send troops over there. Otherwise, we'll just try to save up men. Get more ducats. Yeah, it gets us closer to embracement. Embracement is that word? Well, embracing our institution. Uh, we do have a loan. It's more important that we embrace our institution than pay off that loan, right? Ninety-two ducats. Yeah, we gotta keep our merchant guilds happy with us for the moment. Keep a C. Sorry. Hopefully they lose. Yeah, let's get this before it becomes more expensive. And now we're much closer to being up to date, we could, when we get the cash, start modernizing our fleet. Okay. So this autonomy needs to go down, but at least it's the right religion. That's been converted. Hopefully they've let a few months pass. So that their rebels started ticking downward. Yeah, they seem to have. Rival rivals Austria, 
definitely want to do that because we need some prestige and some honor points. Actually, this guy will get soonest. Uh, let's get some cash. We could always bump that back up. Ooh, they would make a great ally if we can get them. Okay, let's add that to our trade company. Definitely need to get our piety up higher. Get that military tech. So now we're ahead of time. And we can start developing to get some, <laughs> some more manpower. I think we had an edict there, which is no longer necessary. Let's check on our others. Yeah, I still want that spreading. The one that's spreading throughout here. Actually, that's not really helping. It's not worth the expense. Here, why don't we just for a year put in Enforced Religious Unity Edict? Speed up that process. That. Some military points. And we have Liz Boa. Converting. We get some admin points there. It costs us money. So we'll wait. Yeah, I'll we'll make our merchant guilds happier with us so that we can get some cash. Then we can embrace and simultaneously we could get some admin and send off that. They have need debt. Debt. Okay, they're stabilized. And we have another merchant. Couldn't develop that. Okay, so global trade gave us another merchant. We've got one pushing trade there, one pushing trade up here, there, one there. Should have one collecting here. We do. Let's uh, transfer some trade power from there. Try to keep less money from. Going to Genoa. Not that there's much money here. Nope. Okay, Age of Absolutism. Let's keep an eye on our time. 24 minutes. Let's stop here.